Now in yesterday's video, we took a first look at the Skydio 2, but because the batteries weren't charged, we were unable to go out and fly it any. But today, I hope to rectify that situation and give it its first flight and see a little bit about what it might be able to do. Now the truth is, I didn't really plan to upload that video for yesterday because I had the one of the Cushman Traxster with the 360 camera and I accidentally had them uploaded at the same time. So you got two videos yesterday instead of one yesterday and one today. Hopefully I can get this one done today. If not, it might be tomorrow and none of what I just said makes any sense whatsoever. But let's see if we can get this thing up in the air. And all I'm going to use today is the phone. After looking at Skydio's website, it says start with the phone and then go to the controller or the beacon, depending on what you've got. And that way you kind of get used to what the phone interface looks like. And get a good idea of just what Skydio can do. So I need to bring the app up. It says it found it. Now, I've got no idea what this is going to be like. This is all new for me. It has a fly now thing. It says hold to take off. Now the drone sees me and it's got a little thing on here with a plus symbol and I can push that plus symbol and it should follow me then. Let's walk up to the cabin and see what happens. I will probably lose sound for the main camera long before we get to the cabin. Yep, got it into some thin branches there. It really wants to go behind those branches over there. Okay, disabled the height floor so it can go lower. It apparently has a, an eight foot limit built in so it doesn't get too close to the ground. But that kept it from flying under the branches. Let's see if I can tell it to fly in front of me. I don't know if you can hear any of this or not.
think it lost me there. So hopefully we're recording some audio on the phone here, which won't be as good as the camera audio. We're still at 66% battery. Well, this is pretty cool. Well, I bet we have audio back on the main camera by now. And it lost me again. So it managed to lose me as I walked behind a tree. And that's one problem with the, uh, the active tracking. It has to see you for that to work. Now I talked yesterday about the case having a special feature, and that is it will sense the case and knows where to land with the case. This time it's got it. So that is just a quick look at what the Skydio 2 can do with just the cell phone. So if you buy the basic pack, and no, I'm not sponsored, I'm not trying to sell you one of these, but a lot of people watching this are thinking about buying one. So if you have the, just the basic pack, you can do that. You don't need any other accessories but the drone, the battery, and the charger that it comes with, and your cell phone. And it's pretty capable. If you're someplace without as many trees as we have, it might be all you need. 
So I'm pretty impressed. I think I'm gonna break this into three different videos talking about the phone, the controller, and the beacon, and I'll figure out how to use those. I'll go watch some more tutorial videos on YouTube this evening and get that all figured out. So I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button down there. Stick around, watch a few of my other videos, but then make time in your day to get out, have some fun, do something interesting and different, but then we will see you for the next video.